thank you for joining me today. It's beautiful times coming up uh, in the next uh, few weeks. These are times of uh, giving and sharing and giving the challenges that we face in the world today. Uh, there are plenty of opportunities to enhance and certainly make your office and your life and those around you much, much, much happier. Reasons usually come first and answers come second. In, in most applications that we see, people try to find ways to analyze and often try to figure out what is the complication in my life. Rather than looking for solutions, we look for problems. Rather than looking for uh, ways to disseminate some of the, the goodness, we find ways to, to pick on the little tough and, 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 and difficult uh, challenge that we see in life. There are two ways to face the future, basically. One is with apprehension, and the other one is with anticipation. It's the anticipation of life, things that you're looking for. We all need lots of power, uh, and certainly a very powerful long-range goal, in order, in, in an attempt to pass the short-term obstacles that we find on a day-to-day -day basis. We generally find ourselves, you know, for one or two reasons, and we're usually in one of those two places, and that's that, that's what takes us to the next level, either out of inspiration or desperation. These are the two motivators that get us to make a decision as to where we're going to go. Humans have the remarkable ability to get exactly what they must have. But there's a big difference between must and, and want. Must have are things that have to be there. Uh, Zig Ziglar said it uh, quite astutely in, in one of his speeches, and that is that... Uh, you know, uh, money is important and it, it is literally a very part of our life, but it's not the most important aspect of life. There are plenty of other things that, that we have to have. The best most motivation is self-motivation. Uh, you know, you have some people that say, you know, I wish someone would come and, and come by and, and, and help me and, and turn me on and motivate me. And What if that person doesn't show up? You know, I mean, you've got to have a better plan for your life than, than waiting for somebody to come and motivate you. What, when, when you know what you want, and you want it badly enough, actually, you'll find a way to get it. There's no question about that. Motivation alone is, is not enough. Because if you have an idiot, and you motivate him, now all you have is a motivated idiot. But you don't have a, a changed person. Without a sense of urgency, desires loses its own value. In these coming days, in the next few days, uh, Thanksgiving is coming up. It's a beautiful holiday, the holiday of sharing, the holiday of coming. And here's what I recommend. I did this in my own office. As I mentioned before, many times in, in the seminars and whenever we spoke, I have never described to you something which I either did not do or did not believe in. Hope Day stands for H-O-P-E, Help Other People Eat. My recommendation is this, for you to start today, today, take a large big bucket or a big carton box and, and write on it the word hope. Help other people eat. Help Dr. Dayhan's office bring to the world, bring to our community, bring to those who are less fortunate a beautiful holiday. And let people bring in all kinds of canned goods and all kinds of food and things like this to drop out into, into the box. Now you don't want goods that are perishable or foods that have been used before. You want food actually that are uh, that you can keep and store for a little while and for the next couple of weeks until the day before Thanksgiving prepare that food. Now while you're doing this I want you to call one of the local places. You can call for instance uh, uh, one of the orphanages, you can call a, a woman's shelter, a battered women's shelter, you can call uh, the Salvation Army, you can call one of the homeless uh, groups wherever you feel is most appropriate, some kind of a denomination that you are accustomed to call, and let them know that you want to bring them food, those perishable food. In the next couple of weeks, as you tell your patients, as they walk in to bring you all these extra food, so many of us have all kinds of items at home that we either do not eat or don't like, or, or purchase because they were on sale, or, or it's been sitting there for a while, all kinds of goods. Take that food and put it into the box and bring it to that homeless shelter. You'll be amazed at the recognition that you will receive. You'll be amazed at the amount of people that will be thankful for what you're doing. 
Remember the, th the holiday of Thanksgiving is a holiday of sharing, a holiday of giving, a holiday of, of being together and helping other people also on that day have a beautiful day. But you want to go beyond that day and that's why having a hope day coming up is something where you want to garner a relationship with each and every one of your patients. By the way, your staff can also be part of that. And bring in an atmosphere of enthusiastic vitality, a positive energy that runs throughout the office. Something with each and every one of your office staff member takes part of and pride into bringing into this to uh, to, to this office. <clears throat> I can tell you that by doing that, you will have dozens and dozens and dozens of people who will actually enjoy what you're doing. They will love you for that. Now you can benefit from this in a couple of ways. Primarily, you can benefit for yourself. It makes you feel good, and that's a great thing to do. Now you can also make your staff feel good and make them be part of the giving uh, uh, part of, of, uh, of this, co the, this, uh, this deed. But you can also help your patients feel good about it. And all of you can work together on this. As I said, you can either do something with apprehension or anticipation. By bringing up this anticipation, you're creating a positive momentum which will generate more good deeds and greater good deeds in the future. So you prepare this day. You get everybody excited. You've got the box and now every single patient as they walk into the place say, Hi Mrs. Johnson. Did you see what we're doing here? We're gathering food for the homeless. And somebody, as they come in every day, they'll drop off a few things, a box of spaghetti that they've had, or a few cans of goods, or whatever it is that they have. Now, obviously, you don't want food that was left over from the table yesterday, because that's perishable. But anything that's non-perishable, you want them to bring it. You want them to put it in there and have next to it all kinds of beautiful letters that you've created from the people that will thank you for this. In the meantime, you contact this center, this place that you're going to give the food to, and let them know that you're going to bring the food a day or so before Thanksgiving to distribute to all the people that are going to come and share in these public forums. Take your staff there. Take pictures and have those pictures published in the local newspaper. The local newspaper will be more than happy to put an editorial about some of the good things that you've done. So it's publicity. Now the patients recognize the kind of doctor that you are, the kind of office that you're in, the kind of staff that you have. And it's a different level. You're now have become not just a healing power within the community, you've, you've become a goodness. And as spreading that goodness, that goodness itself represents you. So you don't only feel good about it, doesn't only your staff feel good about it, but the people also who will receive, and you'll be amazed how much you'll affect them. As soon as you do this, I can tell you for a fact that there will be a unity, a type of team effort, a bond which will be created among each and every one of you. Talking about yourself, your family that's going to get involved in this, your staff, and all of your patients. Everybody will work as a team to make this better. This is something that will motivate not only everyone to spread goodness, but also will give you the opportunity to give and share what you have. So many of us have things that are left over in garages and in drawers and in the desks and in the attic that really serves no purpose other than collecting dust. It has no sentimental value and absolutely no meaningful value to us at this point. It's a bicycle that we purchased six, seven years ago and the kids grown up, so what do we do with this bicycle? Take it and have a garage sale. Have a garage sale this coming week. Take all the money that you've gathered from that and give it over to one of those shelters. You'll be amazed what it does for your office. You'll be absolutely elated on how people will thank you for that. And you can use this in many alternative ways to promote your office, to promote some of the services that you're doing. While you're doing this, you can distribute coupons. You can certainly have an editorial into the newspaper. You can make an announcement on your website. You can send flyers throughout the town letting them know that your office is collecting non-perishable goods to give to this organization or this shelter or this battered you know, uh, woman uh, a place. You can do these things in a constructive manner, in a beneficial way, and yet still have it part of the benefit for you. It's interesting. 
I met a woman once that was on the plane and was actually traveling to Africa. I was on my way to Europe visiting my mother and this woman sitting next to me traveling to Africa. And I asked her where she was going. She said she was going to Africa. And I said, what for? She said, well, she had created this organization, non-profit organization, uh, and basically uh, had quit her job and ran this non-profit organization. I told her, I said, well, what did you do as a job? So she told me that she was an executive and making, uh, you know, close to $350,000 a year as an executive. She had given up that job where she was traveling all over the world and extremely busy, stressed out beyond imagination, never slept more than two nights in the same hotel and lived from, from you know, one luggage to another and just couldn't stand it. And now she ran this organization. The organization had raised more than $10 million. She was still taking home $250,000 as a salary. Non-profit organization. But yet she was doing things that she loved the most and that is given to other people. And what she does is four times a year she goes back to Africa. She purchases all of the good things that Africans make. These little necklaces and, 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 and homemade uh, uh, you know, bracelets and all these little articles and created an organization where she actually resells those, or, those articles. I was absolutely fiberglassed by that. She had ten employees that worked for her and made that kind of money and did the things all under the guise of goodness. As you can see, here's a person, perfect example of a person who was able to take something that she loved, take her talent of being able to create a successful company, give to the world, get a better salary for herself, and create an environment where she loved to go every single day. You can do the same in your office. Exactly the same thing can happen. You are currently in your office, you can treat patients, you can love these patients, you can give them health, you can give them all the various activities that you have and you can bring in all the other specialists. You can make money out of that, you can enjoy doing it, and all these people will be helped and you can all do this with a lot of fun, appreciation, and a tremendous amount of respect and pride. That's what it is. So don't do it with apprehension. Do it with anticipation. Don't say the words, I wish it were better. Just wish you had more tools or more skills. Don't say, I wish this obstacle was not in my way. Wish that you had the strength to overcome any challenge. Don't wish that one day you could get there and give to others. Make this day today. Give to others. Hope day is a wonderful day. Help other people eat. It's not my invention. I wish it were, but it's not. Thanksgiving is something we've had for many years in this beautiful country of ours. May God bless each and every one of us to have a wonderful holiday. A holiday of giving and sharing. A holiday where each and every one of us can enjoy the beautiful, beautiful time that every one of us is going through at this point, And that is rebuilding our country to be the best place on earth. God bless you and all of us for a wonderful holiday and a great, great future. Thank you.